Hey everyone, welcome back to Bill Tune Race. So it's time to get Clyde ready to go. We have not literally touched him since race week and it's been, you know, over a month. So we're actually in the shop working on it. Alex is here like usual and uh, trying to fix this thing, huh? Yeah. So Alex has already actually been working on it a little bit. We ran into a little issue and we needed this special guy right here. So before I got the video started, we ran and got this, which is, this is actually the nut that goes on the back of a 6L80. So if you're wondering, that right there is a 30 millimeter nut and it has like the little lock on it from there. So what we have is we ended up unhooking. This is a little adapter I put on the back of the 6L80 to adapt it to a slip drive shaft style. And then, so that bolts to that little three bolt flange right there. And the nut goes right there. So we already got that out. So if Alex wants to grab and slide that thing out. So there's that. So this is where I guess you can get like a slip yoke and you can kind of do some things uh, different. So that is out. There's just that little adapter. And now you guys can see where I kind of poured that. And now it's going to be a mess. So I'll have to get this cleaned up. But I tried to put that sealant on there to try to make them last passes up there. But that wasn't going to work out. Uh, so this stuff's kind of kind of gross. But there we go. Get a little. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Look. It started to make a seal, though. It tried. It was probably just pushing it most out there. Oh, looky there. See where it blew it out? Yep. Right there. So we got to figure out how to get in here and pull this little uh seal out but you guys can see it right there it looks like it, it pushed the seal out on it so if i can get this out get uh the new one in and then we'll have to top the tranny back off six ladies are super weird there's a little usually a plug right here i actually do have a, a fill on this one so you start the car leave it running pop this out add fluid and then pop it off so we're gonna get this cleaned up just a little bit better and try to pop a new seal in this thing so Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 actually starts in, I believe it's Tulsa. You drive to Topeka, Noble, Great Bend, which is where we went this year. So that will be kind of the furthest track away from the starting track. And then back to Tulsa. Uh, we have a bunch of people getting ready to go. Motion Raceworks are trying to bring both the Nova, Doug is, and he's trying to get his GTO done. And then sitting out here in the weeds... We have the little Grand Marquis. Everybody's been wondering where Wally's at. So that is where Wally's been. I've had been hanging on to it. So we're going to get a few things ready on Wally before Race Week 2.0 because it sounds like he's going as well. So a bunch of Race Week prep. Ours hopefully isn't bad. Hopefully it's just that seal and everything's good with the tranny still. But need to figure that out here soon. So let's get that seal in and see what we got. So here is the new seal, which I probably need to buy another one, just in case it happens to me again. And, uh, yeah, so it looks like it must just go in from this side, set in like that. It doesn't quite look the same. Maybe. Let's see here. Does that look, though? Oh, I see. So that's part of the seal right there, this outer. Where it's kind of brown right now is not the tranny. That's actually the seal on it. Okay, so, so we can pry from there. We can pry right from this edge, get that one out, get this new one in it, and uh should be good. It's pretty cool. So, yep, we'll go ahead and get that one popped out, get this one popped in, and hopefully Clyde is back to roadworthy again. Got the original one out after some condensing with a hammer and a screwdriver, bent it up till it loosened up, was able to grab an edge, knock it out. So we will now drop the new one in, and hopefully be good to go. Alrighty, so new seal is in. Go back in with this, and we'll end up putting that nut back on it. Bolting this back on. See if Alex can get it in there without messing up the new one. There, oh, oh, oh. Got to find the right teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be a square up on it. So after about 15 to 20 minutes of messing with that thing, I had to take the little rubber mallet here and beat on it and it finally grabbed a, a tooth to move. We kept looking at it like there's no keyway or anything. It just must have that good of a grip on that seal. So uh, going back together now. Like how everything's nice and lubed down here on the bottom of the, the chassis. Real nice from all that tranny fluid. So we'll get it, get it tightened up. Well guys, I forgot to film the filling up tranny but I did put a dipstick here. You pop the little leveling on the tranny. It's right in the back. Just keep pouring it in until it drips out. So went ahead and did that. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a little drive, make sure everything looks good. Well, everybody, there it is. Clyde is back. It seems pretty decent. Need to go drive it real quick, but no, uh, no major tranny leaks. So that's positive. I really need to hook on to the little trailer we took on race week and take it off, wash it off too, and then take this over the car wash, spray it off on the bottom. So it's got freaking, it is caked with tranny fluid, but looks like we're back in business. Look at all them freaking bugs. Had a, had a lot of miles right there from race week. Old Salty's out here though too. Battery is dead. Got a few things planned for this. Just some clean up on some stuff. Been kind of neglected. So, uh, but flight is at least back together. Should be ready for many, many more miles. I'm actually gonna get another seal and carry that socket with us just in case I have to do one of those seals on the road. So the car does have a weird vibration because the drive shaft's never been correctly balanced, I don't think, so maybe that's part of it. But I really think why I took the seal out was because of that fuel pump going out and the car shuddering a bunch. So at the track when the car was like bucking and snorting and stuff, I think that's why like it probably shocked it and tore that output shaft. So or output seal so now everything's good to go hopefully uh for many many more miles it's been super reliable up until that point and the fuel filter was a little goofy this year but we everybody kind of ran into some bad gas so we're gonna go uh run this thing around the block and see how it does well made it over to the old car wash then all the tranny fluid off the back of the car and off the trailer everything go ahead and get it see if i can see it's so dark in here there we go Get it uh, sprayed off here and go for a little cruise, but so far, so good. Got to watch those rest holes, try not to get too much water in them. Same with the windows, they don't have much there. But... Get some bugs off the front end from race week. It literally has not been touched since race week. Woo, driving pretty good. Almost better than new. <laughs> Get it back home, put away, and we should be uh, pretty good to take it out again here soon. All right, guys, so we are back home. Clyde made it, got everything cleaned up. Everything looks good, fixed up, so now it's time to clean up the garage and work on the next thing. I think I need to get Bernie ready for some more burnouts, get some new tires put on it, and uh, we'll get Clyde ready for a few events that we would like to take to coming up, as well as Race Week 2.0. So if you guys want to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.